We're here today to uh, discuss our recent training together. Uh, Menorah travels all the way from Juneau, Alaska to participate in our Live Training Institute uh, this November 10th through the 12th uh, in 2016. And we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, some of her experience. So, Lenora, you went through the correspondence program first. Yes, I did. Uh, when did you start that? I started it, I believe, mid-September. Okay. Of and last year? Of no, this year? of this year. Of this year. Yeah, okay. I think it took me six weeks to get through it. Six weeks to complete the program. But, yeah. That's, that's very good. Very good. And you came with all your paperwork? I came with everything. all of my paperwork. I did all of the worksheets. I did all of the study guides. I took all of the tests. I did the um, all the machines that we were going to do beforehand. I had, you know, so part of the whole thing is you're going to service about 12 machines. Mm -hmm. 11. And I had already already started setting them up when I got the course and it was really very beneficial for me to have gone through those 11 machines before I came here. So did you enjoy the correspondence program? Yes I did. Huh? Um, I, I found it very informative. You know there's... yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Did you find anything that was uh problematic, uh, confusing? Or... No, everything was really straightforward. Um, there were a couple things I had to read a couple of times, but that was my, my own brain working, not, <laughs> not anything else. I'm sure I had something going on. Did the videos help make sense out of the content in the textbook? Yes. Okay. Uh, so you decided to come to the Live Institute anyway? Yes. And why did you decide to do that? Well, I wanted to make sure that I felt 100% comfortable in working on machines. I wanted somebody to check me and make sure I was doing it right because you can say, oh yeah, line this up with that, but it's all kind of in the gray area until somebody actually says, no, that's it. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask. You know, so, so it's nice to have somebody checking on you. Right. Good. Good. So how have you felt this week? Um, it's been it's been fun. It's been good. Uh, you cover a lot of different things. Uh, you do go through some of the same things that you do in the in the correspondence course, but you cover a lot of things that you don't. And quite frankly, the hands-on is just fantastic. You know, you set the timing a few times on a machine and get to know it. And how did you feel about Jerry's uh, Jeremiah? instructs part of our course. How did you feel about his instruction? Oh, I thought he was excellent. He is excellent and he just makes everything look so easy and then comes along and says, yes, you got it. Or no, try this. You know, <laughs> here, here, here's a little cheat for you. Try instead of looking there, look here, you know, and it really helps. It really does. Great. Now, a lot of people question whether there's, whether there's any real demand for sewing machine repair. How do you find it where you live? Well, we li I live in Juneau, and it's a population around 33,000, and we have two quilting shops. One is a Bernina dealer, and the other is just independent and does not sell any sewing machine. So uh, it's, it's, it's in high demand where I am, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, you already have a sewing business that you've been doing. Yes, I do. I have a long arm business. And what's the name of that? Long Arm by Leora. Long Arm by Leora. Okay. And uh, are you having good uh, customer service from that? Um, it's a little slow up in Juneau. We just moved up there. Okay. I had a lot of customers and a lot of business in Virginia where we lived before. Okay. So now you have a skill that you can take with you wherever you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is true. I appreciate your taking time to share with us. And um, for me, and I'm really glad I did it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed <laughs> class a lot. 